Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be pretty cool if this game had an accounting DLC? Imagine that, you have to go on special accounting missions, and if you fail them you get, you get audited by the IRS. And if you get audited, like if you can't, if you can't prove yourself to the IRS, they shut down the XCOM project and the entirety of Earth is doomed. Man, that would be, that would be intense. It's gotta be really complex to do the accounting for the XCOM project. Like today, we sold 10 sectoid corpses to another country for some space bucks. Okay, let's see, what do I do? I credit, no, I, I debit cash and I credit sectoid corpses? Oh God, this is complex. How do you even do that? I, ah. Uh, it'd be really difficult. Probably more difficult than defeating a cyberdisc. Maybe even a sectopod. Anyway, I don't remember what I was doing before. I was doing something. Maybe all the things. I don't really remember. Stuff. Anyway, there's some other stuff to do. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Special request from a viewer. Asheron, 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 Asheron. There you are. Asheron wanted to know what their will is. Your will is 46. Which is pretty damn bad, but then again, you're a squatty, so what do you expect? It'll get bigger when you go up. It'll, it'll get bigger when you grow. And that's not a euphemism. It will, but... It's unlikely to happen with how many troops I have. But, they did want their soldiers to do something. So... Let's get Asheron tested. There you go. You're doing something. Let's see, other than that, what was there? Oh, yes. Um, a new viewer name. Let's see, who do I give it to? Let's give it to... 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 You. Actually, hold on. No. Hmm. Hmm. Let's give it to a heavy. God damn it. It's a male name, though. Isabella, Ludmilla, Mina, uh, Andre? Oh, there you go. Okay. Oops. There we go. So the last viewer name, newest addition is... Spell that correctly, yes. Yes, Aaron Ahmed. Welcome to the team. I'm probably not going to use you, but... Because I have so many soldiers. But I'll put you on here regardless. Let's turn you into something ridiculous. Perfect. I will call you... Mr. Mustard. If you ever get a nickname, that's what I'll call you. Mustard. Or Mr. Mustard, or something like that. Or Spicy Brown? I, I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Naming my soldiers after condiments. World Class Commander. Okay, I believe that's everything on my list to do. Um, and we'll, uh, yeah, alright. Was I gonna buy something? I don't remember. Gullop Chamber's gonna be done. Let's just wait. I have to wonder, were the large swimming pools really necessary to install in the same room as that thing? Isn't that just a little bit over the top? I don't remember paying for that. Okay, can I do anything with it, or does it just allow me to do the main mission? I don't think I can actually directly use it in any way. No, I can't. Hmm. 
I really don't need to build anything. But just in case. Excavations for the fun of it. Yeah, I'm getting wasteful with my money at this point. Hey, I'm gonna get a thousand. Well, okay, not a thousand. I guess I have more upkeep. I'm gonna get uh, 800. Roughly. About 850. In nine days. Oh, wait a minute. Gollop Chamber. It's clear that the alien device oh. will not respond to attempts at physical interaction. However, if we can find a soldier with strong enough psionic abilities, we may be able to activate it. Alright, so I need to upgrade the psionic abilities of my soldiers before I can even attempt to use this. Which is probably the next thing I need to do, right? Yeah, increase our soldiers' psionic strength and then use the ethereal device. In other words, we need to go into battle. And, alright, so who am I going to be taking with Psy abilities? Isley and Finn. Who have I tested? I think I've tested all my main people, right? Except... Uh, except my support. Because he's my only one, so I don't want him to be out for ten days. Wait, I never test... I never tested Arrow? Oh. Apparently I haven't. I could have sworn I did. No, I guess she... Oh, she was probably wounded, wasn't she? Or something. Hmm. 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 The thing is, I don't really want to put her out of commission for ten days. Unless I have a backup assault who has mimetic skin, but none of them do. But maybe I should save my meld for the mind protection. Then again, I'm probably going to get enough meld before then to do it. So maybe I should just give someone else mimetic skin right now. I'm just going to do it. Alright, so Gary Warner or Ochner. They're both effectively the same in skill level. I think they even have the exact same class build, so I think they're literally the same. They might have different will or something, but... Hmm... And I've used Ochner a bit. I've barely used Gary Warner. Let's go with Gary Warner. Mimetic skin. 35 meld. Yeah, why not? Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. Alright, so I'll wait for that to finish before I send Arrow off for testing. Come on, I'm itching for a fight. Message from the Psy Labs. Of course, Annette Durand is of course gifted. As we already knew. I don't suppose she's especially gifted right from the get-go? She's probably at level 1. Mm-hmm. Back to waiting. Gary Warner has completed gene modification. Okay, I guess we're sending Arrow off for testing. Uh, uh, test, test, research? Yeah, re no. Engineering? Barracks? There it is, barracks. What, do you think a commander should know his way around his own base? No. Don't be silly. Hmm. Can I build anything worth a damn? Pointless. Research, pointless. Workshop, pretty much pointless. Nope. But hey, it's roomy here. Can we take a look at the excavated chambers? Where are they? See, look at that. A beautiful chamber filled with industrial pipes and rubble. Just waiting for something to be built. It's beautiful, isn't it? A chamber of possibilities. Well, that sucks, Asheron. No gift. I'm sorry. Incoming transmission. We are 
extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM Boy, thank project you. thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. All right, I think Remember, I have. We will be watching. At this point, I think I have enough money that I could probably just pay, pay off the aliens to leave Earth alone. Like here, have your space bucks. Go spend it on something big. Go treat yourself. Go buy a nice, beautiful designer dress or something. But no, the game won't let me do that. Hey, Isley, what's going on? <laughs> does she does she give off little like puffs of gene mod or something? Because she has gene mods. Is that what I just saw? Let's wait and see if it happens again. <laughs> that's gotta be awkward. Or is that is that Psy abilities? I'm not sure, but whatever it is, that's gotta be awkward. Just giving off puffs of light wherever you go, every like ten to twenty seconds for the rest of your life. It's gotta be distracting. Imagine if you're just sitting in the movie theater in the dark, and then above your head is this light that just keeps it popping up. Ah. <sighs> the life of a soldier. What the hell is I gonna do? Oh yeah, do I have something to spend my money on? New engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I guess I could. All right, what's here? Hmm. I could improve the pistol. It takes a bunch of stuff that I don't really care about. Um, it might eat up all my weapon fragments, so I actually don't usually have many of those. Although maybe I've amassed a large collection. Yeah, I've only got a hundred. It's actually not that many. So what else is here other than pistols? Um, accelerates XCOM's vehicle and facility construction. Completely pointless. Okay, drone capture, that could... Mm. Maybe that could... I don't know. Let's do it. I don't see myself ever really using that, but... It doesn't hurt to have. I don't want any of this stuff. I really don't. I'll make sure production begins immediately. But and what as soon do... as we've got something, I'll be in touch. What do I spend my money on, though? Okay, well, I can make plasma pistols, I suppose. Plasma pistols for everyone! No, okay, I'm gonna save my money for, like, whatever lances. Actually, wait, can I build the lances now? I can! Okay, I mean, my EMP cannons seem great, but it does say that they leave more things alive, which at this point is maybe not a good thing necessarily, I don't know. Actually, wait a minute, they're cheaper. The Fusion Lance is actually cheaper. Does that mean it's worse? Hmm. No, I don't think I should buy the Fusion Lance. It doesn't... Nah, oh, fuck it. Huh. But then again, it might be responsible for there being so many aliens on board during those missions where it said, you know, I had the roster of what aliens were on board, and then when I actually got onto the mission, it was completely different. Like the one that said there was no sectopod, but then there was a sectopod. Yeah, that wasn't pleasant. I don't know. Um. I, I don't know. What else could I do? I could buy grenades and use them, even though I've never used them. Yeah, I don't care about the implants, anti-strangulation, blah, blah, who cares? Mind shield. Nope. There's a gene mod for that. Why waste an inventory slot? Hmm. Gotta spend my money on something. There's no point in just keeping it. Oh, flashbang seems kind of cool. On the other hand, this ghost grenade kind of sounds amazing. Um, 
Looks like it makes everyone invisible. It doesn't say exactly how that works, but I am curious. Who would I give it to, though? I really don't want to use up... I mean, I'd have to either take away chit and plating for one of my soldiers, or take away the scope. So, who would I give that to? I guess... I, I don't really want to take away either of those things. I kind of want to see it in action, though. Hmm. To be honest, I think the most useful grenade would probably be the flashbang. I kind of don't want to get any. Let's buy a mimic beacon. Because why not? Alright, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to buy some fusion lances. All the alloys. Let's prep my demons. Never thought I'd get to say that in my life. <laughs> well, I guess I can give my little ravens the EMP cannons. Is there a point to that? No, it's not even worth the time. My demons are never going to be shot down. My demons shall prevail! Back to waiting? Is there anything else to do? Nope. Holy crap! That was loud. Aira has no gift either. The gift is very rare. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the council. Hmm, special mission. Oh, it's developing. It's developing the uh, the storyline with Annette Durand. And apparently, it's about furries. Cool. The intelligence provided by Annette indicates that aliens are attempting to transfer at least three other captives in a remote area near the Alps. Ooh, if each of these abductees harbors the same potential that Annette has demonstrated, it is imperative we do not allow the aliens to keep them captive. Near the Alps? That sounds like a really exotic environment. Really cool environment. Let's go. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Now, do I take the stupid Mimic Beacon, even though I'm almost certain I'll never be able to do anything of use with it? I kind of want to take it anyway. But that's stupid, so let's not. Okay. Um, I want to develop some Psy abilities. So, let's take my Psy soldiers. Gonna take Isley, and going to take Finn. Plus, I gotta be honest, Finn is just a better heavy. Because, because I chose much better abilities for her. The Shredder Rocket plus the Rocketeer is just better. It means she has three rockets to use rather than one, which is just so much more useful. It really is. Alright, make items available. Let's get everyone kitted out here. I guess I could attempt to buy armor, maybe do the Archangel thing with my sniper. I could maybe do that with my money. I don't know. Or the ghost armor or whatever. We'll see. For now, I'm sticking with this. Med kit, chit and blading, laser, laser, blah, 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 plasma, whatever. Good to go, good to go. Not good to go. Let's get that blaster launcher. That thing is a beaut. To full? Is a, is a beaut of, I don't know. It's beautiful.
Let's take Gary Warner out for a spin. Instead of Arrow. You do have Memetic, memetic Skin, after all. I actually wonder if you have any different abilities from Arrow. I don't know. I think you probably have the same class build. Rapid Fire, Close Combat Specialist, Killer Instinct, Memetic Skin. Yeah. I think it's the same. Do I want to use the beacon? I really don't. So I won't. Dropship has arrived. Let's see what terrible mission name we have. Fallen Fans Palace. Sending an urgent mission request. Looks cold. I like how Central's just given up at this point. There's an urgent mission request. Silence. He doesn't even care to explain it anymore. Hopefully at some point he'll just completely stop talking. And then at some point maybe he'll realize I don't need him and he can just leave. Commander, Strike One needs to approach that ship with caution. According to Annette, the remaining captives are being held in stasis, but the aliens can shut down life support functions at any moment. The system is controlled by a command console. If we can take it out, it'll give us a chance to bring those people home safe. New objective received. Destroy or disarm the command console. Okay. This is a really cool environment. Look at this. It's all snowy. It's obviously a, a town that's just been destroyed. Just decimated. Very cool. Alright, is there any full cover I can move to? None that's really far up there. Hmm. <laughs> I just want to see this curving. I just want to see this curving rocket again. <laughs> that is so cool. I can't wait to see this thing in action. Look at it snake around. The Snake of Destruction. Hmm. I'm not sure if what, if what Central is telling me is telling me that I should move fast or what. I don't really want to move up so far. But I kind of have to. Hmm. Eh. Eh. I don't want to do it. Alright, let's move you up. God, you can move far. Look at that. <laughs> Jesus, halfway across the map in one turn. No, hold on. Okay. I don't want to move up too far. Not yet. Let's do this first. On my way. Okay, nothing. Alright, not too bad. We're fine, we're fine to move up. Looks like we're right at the mouth of the beast. And we're all in shitty half cover. When you're staring down the beast's mouth, you really don't want to be in half cover. Moving out. That's something my mother taught me. Well, that's inconvenient. The fact that they spread apart is also very inconvenient. However, they're out of range. And I can throw stuff. I don't even know where the where the hell did they go? Shit. I don't know, have fun with that, whatever. These things are pieces of shit and they don't seem to ever work, right? So I'm not gonna worry about using them. The grenades, on the other hand, I do care about. Which is why I won't use it. 
I'm just gonna overwatch. Right, well, hunkering down is kind of pointless. Might as well just move you up a bit. Damn it. The aliens are on to you, Strike One. That sound is coming from the console. Get moving and find it before the aliens execute those captives. Aw, oh, it did two damage. It thinks it's a real alien. Turns until execution 12. Alright, so I guess the I'm guessing the console is probably pretty deep in if they're giving me that many turns. Incoming fire. Of course, no one triggered the explosive. Hostiles targeting my position. Okay, now is a good chance to test something out. Yeah, there's something I want to know here. Ooh, 100% chance to hit, damn. Reducing their will, aim, and mobility. Well, there's really no point in doing that against something that only has three hit points. Alright, there's something I want to know. Someone was saying that... One of my viewers was saying that... Where is it? In the zone, killing a flanked or uncovered target with a sniper rifle does not cost an action. Somebody was saying that it applies even to enemies that are in cover. Which doesn't sound right to me at all. Like, that sounds like it would be a bug. But I'm really curious, because if that's true, that kind of changes everything. So I'm going to find out right now. Because that is in half cover. Let's see. No, okay. It doesn't. Which is what I thought, because, I mean, that would be way too powerful, wouldn't it? Way too powerful. If that was true. Although, I don't know, maybe maybe that was a bug at one point? I know that some... Um, some behavior that worked in XCOM Enemy Unknown actually doesn't work in XCOM Enemy Within, because they changed it. But anyway, that leaves me in a good position. Because I can do this. Hmm. Maybe I should have had Finn use her mind powers just to exercise her mind. Her psi powers. Depends, though. Do you only upgrade your psi powers by actually using them, or do you just... Do it by gaining experience just by, you know, killing enemies and stuff. I don't know. Because with a normal skill tree, you don't need to use your abilities to level them up. You just gain experience in general. But maybe it's different. Alright, we gotta move. Can't be staying put. Big entrance here and a very ominous glow. I don't like ominous glows. There's a lot of room over here. Don't think there's any aliens though. Might as well just reload you, Overwatch. while everybody's safe. Alright, step one, scout. Stepping off. Whoa, what'd you see? Oh, thin men. That's nothing. Ain't no problem.
In fact, can I launch a grenade in there? Ah, not quite. Move you up a little bit more. Yeah, we can't be we can't be waiting too much. All right, I don't want to put I want to put Graves too far up. Bad idea. He is my only support. At least my only highly leveled support. I'm gonna be daring and put Finn in the blast radius here. Even if it even if it blows up, which is pretty unlikely, it's only gonna do eight damage. She'll be fine. Strike one's position, Commander. Well, that blows. Oh, they're just little thin men. They're so thin, they're adorable. I don't even need to engage it. I can just keep going forwards. Might as well just blow them up. I need to move up a little bit, though. How far can I move up without them seeing me? Here? Here? This should be safe. Killed before they even saw me. How does it feel? Oh, it feels like death? That's what I thought. Wait, you can't talk because you're dead? Death feels like nothing because you have no feelings? Oh. Wouldn't it be funny if, if you played on, like, classic or impossible difficulty, you could trigger your own proximity mines? That would be inconvenient. I'm not gonna move you up. Yes, sir. It's going through this side. Oh. Ah, they're just more thin men. Yeah, I really... What the hell? Oh. You realize you're not going to be able to shoot me from up there, right? Just want to point that out. I'm guessing that thin man that spawned back there is probably going to assault us from the back. So let's get some overwatch. Double overwatch. Should be enough, I think. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, there we go. I was about to say it's not going to trigger, but nope. You can't get away from graves. Except when you can. But you can't get away from the moose. Except when you can. But you can't get away from the... Oh shit, that's all the overwatches I have. Never mind. It turns out you can get away. Because my soldiers can't hit shit for shit. Need to go back to aiming school. Jesus. Need to go back to dodging school. Although, who cares? I mean, it only- oh god! The fuck? Out of all the places you could have come down, you come down right there. Well. Well. Okay. You wanna play like that, huh? <laughs> Fine. Fine. I can roll with that. I want to punch him in the face. But I, I'm actually thinking that might not be the smartest thing to do. Who's the other target? What the? Oh. 
That's a distant thin man. What about the mind fray? 100%. Ooh. Of course, I could just blow him up. But that'd be incredibly wasteful. Hmm. Yeah, there's really no point in using Mind Fray against such a weak target. I'd like to move. I'd like to do a bit of moving up at the same time as killing this thing, rather than locking my troops down to take a, take it on. Because I really need to get moving. As so, as fun as it'd be to punch it, I don't think I should. In fact, I won't. Okay. I will move up. And then shoot you. Hoping at some point I'll get lucky. And the thin man I will ignore because it is pathetic. Close to lucky. I don't suppose you get close enough to activate close combat specialists? Nope. I'd like to heal Isley in the so oh, no, stop, stop. I'd like to heal Isley in the same turn. I can probably just kill you with this. 68%? That's it? Alright, I'll take it. Kill confirmed. Oh, I guess I'll take a shot at you. Or I could just mind fray you. All right, let's let's exercise your mind, just for the fun of it. Whoa, wait, it did. <laughs> that was an evil laugh, Finn. Jesus, I think she likes it. I didn't know it did damage. Does it say the? Hmm. I don't think I mentioned doing damage, but apparently it does. That was a very evil laugh. Alright, we're getting into position. I will move you here. I will move Graves next to you and give you some healing. Give you some medkit loving. There you go. Commander, hostiles are entering the AO. Systems remain operational. All right, I think we just need to run in. Except we can't this turn, so maybe we shouldn't. I can shoot, I can shoot the top of the ship. My rocket can go up and through the hole. Although according to the little pathway thing, it's actually going through the ship rather than actually around it. But anyway, that's just really funny. All right, we need some overwatch to take care of the berserker. In fact, we need a lot of overwatch, but I would like to move up. move you up. Okay. Not a bad chance to hit. I probably don't need to do that yet, though. No, I don't. Yeah, they can probably overwatch or maybe reload, depending on what I want to do with them, and then I think you could just take it out with... Oh, there's a cooldown in your mind fray. Okay. Actually, Isley, I could use your mind fray. Yeah. You're not going to be in cover here. You're going to be flanked, of course, but it doesn't matter. Because it's going to die. <laughs> B 
They really enjoy using their mind powers, don't they? Alright, I will sprint you up, and let's put... Uh, I'd like to reload them, but that I know that Berserker's gonna come down. Hmm. Could I get away with, with Gary Warner and Cotton Candy... John Cotton Candy Smith doing overwatches and reloading Tyrone, who seems to have the least ammo? Actually, you can overwatch too. Yeah, I can get away with that. Alright, gonna reload you. Everyone else, I will overwatch. I'm gonna go ahead and move you out of cover. Alright. Oh shit. Well, I guess we're not gonna be <laughs> I guess we're not gonna be taking out the Berserker with Overwatch. That was overkill. Hello, Berserker, would you like to pay us a visit? Apparently you wouldn't. Alright, let's not be timid here. Let's just open this. Alright, let's take a look inside. There you are. Wait, is that the thing? The abductees are still alive, but we're not out of the woods yet. We still have to get them out of there. That's all I have to do. That has to be the command console. If we're going to save the captives, we'll need to either move in and disable the system or destroy it with explosives. We don't need to resort to explosives. I've got seven turns. I'm good. Position confirmed. I could even burn you for the fun of it. But shooting you would, you would do more damage. Ooh. Okay. I can move Gary Warner here. And do rapid fire. And if, it, if rapid fire does not kill it. My close combat specialist. Which should give me a third shot. Will. It's gonna have to move. Yeah, come closer. Or, never mind. <laughs> that never even needed to happen. Let's go ahead and reload. Good to go. And Overwatch. This mission is honestly way too easy. Just move up, Overwatch, and reload. On my way. I'm not sure if the mission is over as soon as I save them, or if we need to wipe out all the aliens. Because there's probably aliens... Yeah, there's gotta be aliens up here. In the command deck place. The place that has a name that I always forget. The bridge! That's what it's called, I think. I don't like packing my troops in like this. But I 
want to get Isley up here for next turn. Yep, this is an awkward troop placement. It's okay, though. We have two overwatches. I sure hope there's not a sectopod watching us. No, we're good. Aye, aye, Commander. Excellent work out there, Commander. We're reading zeros across the board on that device. Looks like you managed to stop the termination sequence. We have a new objective. All we need to do now is secure the area and eliminate any remaining hostiles. Wait, I, I've stopped the termination sequence? I think I just got myself a new nickname. The Anti-Terminator. How in the world is that little stub full cover? It looked impressive when the whole holographic light show thing was on, but now that it's not, it's nothing more than a waist-high ring. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm not going to complain about free full cover, but that is not full cover. Moving to Overwatch. Eyes peeled, Commander. Please do not peel your eyes. I need you to be able to see. hiding right down there. That or there's like a thin man hiding out on the roof. What should they have been known to do? Let's just get the party started here. Or not. What the hell? Okay. They're either hiding in a corner or they're not here. Hello? Hmm. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and leave some people on the outside here. Okay, I could do with uh, an indication of where the aliens are. Haven't seen any of those noise things pop up, which is strange. The Maybe they're in the corner. No, I don't think they're here. They're not here. Huh. I guess they're off to one of the sides. Alright, time to relocate. Now. 
Still no indicator. Does that mean they're really far away or what? Okay, indicator, please, please, In indicator, okay. I just don't know. On the move. I'm worried that when I do find it, it's going to be like a sectopod or something. But it's probably just a thin man or two. I don't know. I'm going to spread my troops out. I'm not going to worry too, too much about it. True placement because it's probably nothing difficult. There now. Or Overwatches. There's obviously not any new troops coming in. We're just looking at that on the map. What? What does that indicate? Is that just. Oh, that's just the console. Yeah, that I've already disabled. I've actually never really looked at this little map. I don't know if it really tells you anything useful or what. I'm um, assuming it only can only tell you things you... No. There's an arrow. Does that mean... There's enemies that way, or what? Seems rather unlikely there'd be enemies here. I don't know. Stranger things have happened. Let's take a look. I don't think so. Aliens? <sighs> that is not where I meant to move you, but it doesn't matter. Unless it's a sectopod. In which case it very much would matter, but this is very unlikely. I would have heard it stomping about. Wouldn't it be funny if this the missions just bugged? Okay. That'd be hilarious. Where are you, for Christ's sake? Where are you? And now I wish I had that beacon. The thing that attracts them. That would be perfect. For right now. I'm assuming it applies to enemies that aren't aggravated. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it only applies to ones that know you're there. Oh, 
Oh. Have. Has that thin man just been overwatching the whole time? Hold on, can I pull off a, a fancy move here? <laughs> look at the look at the path of that rocket. <laughs> oh. All right, we're gonna pull off some fancy shenanigans here. Let's do this. Gonna get some shenanigans going. Let's pop a smoke here. Protect my mech from being hurt by the the thin man that's gonna do two damage to it. You better not move, thin man. Don't you even think about it. On the move. Already there. I'm gonna kill you in the most strange and destructive and over-the-top way possible. Yeah, you overwatch. You can watch all you want. It's not gonna save you. Oh, it is not gonna save you. Goodbye. Going hot. That's gonna come as a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't. They weren't even close. We may just have found some new recruits for XCOM. Central, all you do is just say stuff that doesn't matter and just say things that are incorrect. Yeah, we just barely pulled through on that mission. The mission where I finished with like six turns left to go and I only was attacked by thin men and the occasional berserker. That was piss easy. Or easy as piss, I don't know, whatever. Something to do with piss and easiness. I mean, come on, throw a challenge my way, Jesus. Ours are the furries. I mean, furies. I mean, furries. I like to imagine it's furries. We can only hope that all of our future deployments go as well as this one did. Well, that was an extremely easy mission, and that's an extremely bad haul. We will be in touch, Commander. Not that it matters, because I don't need anything. We may have finally found the purpose behind Annette's captivity, and the results are disturbing, to say the least. It appears that Annette and the other unique captives are capable of amplifying the psionic abilities of others, allowing the aliens to exert mental control over a number of victims simultaneously. Unfortunately, in using Annette to attack XCOM, the resulting stress caused significant trauma to her neural tissue. She will never have this specific ability again, although she may still retain psionic aptitude. I see. And we have some new recruits, including someone who has the nickname of Tissaphone. I don't even know what that means. What the hell is... what's a Tissaphone? Fatima's a pretty awesome name, though. Fatima... Tariq? I'm guessing. Oh, whoa, you're Lieutenant. Hello. I don't need another assault, though. Ooh! I have another support. Who's pretty high level. Okay. I definitely want Sprinter. That is a very good ability. Field Medic, absolutely. Revive, definitely. Okay, I now have a backup support. Good. Whoops. Uh, 
And another sniper. That I don't need. Squad side, absolutely. Damn good ground. Um. Battle scanner sounded nice, and I got the occasional good use out of it. However, I think disabling shot is more useful. Lately, I just haven't been using battle scanner. Critical chance, defense, critical chance. Going with an aggressive assault as normal. Lightning reflexes, very nice. Mm, rapid fire. I have a lot of soldiers. I have so many. The awkward thing is, my backup support has a generic name, and I don't have any more viewer names to use. I could transfer the name from someone. I could transfer someone's name to a soldier that I actually might use. Um. I, I don't know. I'll leave that for later. I probably won't use the other support unless I have to, unless I'm defeated in the main mission or something. Actually, can you even loot? If you lose the main mission, you might lose the game. I'm not sure how that works. Anyway, well, I've made some... What, have I made progress? Yeah, I guess I have. I mean, my soldiers are pretty well upgraded at this point. Pretty close to being ready to do the mission, actually. A little bit more gene modding, and of course I need to upgrade my soldiers' psi abilities. But yeah, doing pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.